Hey what's up guys, today I'm going to bring you a Photoshop tutorial and I'm using Photoshop Elements 4 or 3, I think it's 3, way back from 2004 so kind of go with me on this one for those people using the expensive version of Photoshop, I'm sure you can figure this out. But I'm just starting off with my dimensions 1280 by 1024, regular resolution. Um, I'm going to like go a little bit fast but you know if, if you're experienced with Photoshop you should be up to pace, it's not really going that fast for you. But I'm just going to get my paint bucket tool, make the background black. Okay, go over here to this little icon, make a new layer. Okay. And now I'm going to pick my lasso tool, the free one. Not the magnetic, not the polygonal, but the free one. I'm going to make a potato shape, right? Or It doesn't really matter where it is, you can always move it later. But I'm just going to like make a big potato shape. Okay. And we, uh, I forgot to mention, you're going to have to feather this 25 pixels. So if you already made a great potato, but you didn't feather it, sorry, go back, feather it 25 pixels, and um, then you're going to grab your paint bucket tool, switch to white for your main color, and paint it white, and it should have a blurry little effect. Okay, don't deselect it yet, all right? You're going to go to Filter, Render, and Clouds, all right? And so the clouds, you know, they're a little bit too gray, so we're going to up the contrast. So I'm just going to adjust my lighting, brightness and contrast. I'm going to bring this up to, I'm going to bring it up to about 35. I'm going to turn the darkness down to about 15. All right. Negative 15. All right. So 35 for contrast, negative 15 for brightness, you know, whatever. Okay, then you're going to want to deselect it or press Control D or Command D if you're on a uh, Mac. So Control D. And now you're going to want to take a soft eraser brush, um, about 100 pixels in size, and uh, just kind of cut away just little rivets, only about three or four, just kind of where I'm doing it. Um, this will create for. Um, like where it juts out a lot and makes like a real aurora. Um, so I'm just going to do like pretty much at the same places on each side. So now I'm going to go to filter, blur, radial blur. Okay, I'm going to set my amount to 100, do a zoom blur method, and I'm just going to leave my quality at good. But you're going to want to put the origin about th two thirds down the page, right in the center, so most of the stuff is going up. So uh, if you can see that. Um, I'll zoom in on the video when I'm editing it. Okay, so I'm going to press OK, and then it should go up, and that's what your effect should be, or at least along those lines. This part right here is a little bit dark, but that's okay. It's just a tutorial. But um, if you can see, I don't know if you can, it's a little bit gritty up here at the top. It might be on yours as well, but I'm just going to grab my blur tool all the way down here, right above the, um, the little teardrop. Uh, I'm gonna not that big of a brush, uh, probably just like a hundred, two hundred pixels, just so I can uh, even out that grittiness. Um, I don't know, really matter, but I'm just gonna get these edges, make it blurred out. Okay, I don't really like that big black part, but I'm just gonna deal with it for the sake of the tutorial. So now you're gonna go up to enhance or whatever you're going to, and you're gonna go to color, and adjust the hue saturation or press Control U. And we're going to make this a, like the Mac, pinkish, purplish. So you're going to click Colorize. And we're going to pick a good um, kind of pink purple thing. You want it more pink than, um, than purple. But uh, we're going to pick 300 for this one. Just a good, easy benchmark to go from. Uh, saturation, it's at 25 right now. I'll just leave it at... I'll leave it at 25 and no lightness. Okay. Um, alrighty. So now, what you're gonna, this is, um, I mean, if you want it pink, just to leave it like that, that's fine, but it does look a little different, so we're gonna press Control J to duplicate it, or you can press right, right click and duplicate it, but, you know, everyone likes shortcuts, so then we're gonna take it and we're gonna enhance the color and make this kind of a bluish greenish. Uh, I say more blue, blue than green, so we're going to click Colorize, and we're going to make this blue. OK. 
Okay, let's see. I'm going to figure out what's a good one to go from. Um, I say 180, right about in the middle, and saturation at 25. But then you're going to um, erase most of this and only leave the um, right about where the black starts. You're only going to leave that in this layer. So let's get a little bit bigger brush. 170. So we're going to erase that. And we're just kind of gonna angle it off into the um, into the blue, okay. And then we're gonna pick a um, layer uh, overlay, but um, I'm just gonna pick which one looks best. I think I'm gonna end up going with um, a uh, overlay. Yeah, I'm going to go with overlay for these next two. You can also do um, color dodge. looked pretty good. It was nice and bright. But I'm just going to go with overlay. Whoops, do not want to delete that layer. Okay, um, overlay. Okay, then you're going to want to select the pink layer again and uh, control J or duplicate that again. This time we're going to make it a green, like more of a, more of a green. All right, so we're going to go to control U. Whoops. Okay, I'm just going to go through the menus to show you. Colorize. And then we're going to make it a green. Um, okay. More of a yellowish green. Um, I'm, I'm going to use 100 for this one for the hue and just leave the saturation and lightness the same. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing except erase on the other side. So leave everything. So the pink part's gonna mainly be in the middle, and it's gonna be half and or it's gonna be split into thirds pretty much. But I'm just gonna erase most of the green. Okay, then we're gonna put an overlay, and the pink layer should be on the bottom, and it doesn't really matter about the blue and the green. So I'm gonna put that on overlay, and it should, you know, that one doesn't really leave much. So I'm I don't really know which one to do for this one. Um, I'm going to leave it on overlay and hopefully your result is a little bit better, but um, that's pretty much how you do that. Um, don't merge the layers or else the layer overlay or the layer uh, blending will get all mixed up, but um, yeah, that black spot is kind of, I don't really like that, but just a tutorial, you know, yours is probably better, uh, but that's pretty much how you create it. Um, you can duplicate the pink one again just to create more of a a light effect um, to make it stand out more but yeah that's how you do the Aurora on the Mac um, you could add your own glossy letters to it um, so yeah uh, thanks for watching please subscribe be sure to enter in the giveaway that we have going on but this is how to create an Aurora uh, kinda like on a Mac OS 10 um, or Snow Leopard uh, but yeah thanks for watching and bye